Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. This tutorial will look at the new eyedropper tool in PowerPoint 2013. Now PowerPoint 2013 sort of a lot of changes and it sort of the growth of some, some new features. Um, not many better than eyedropper tool. What this tool enables you to do is to match colours within your presentation. So it enables you to easily now create consistent and cohesive presentations with matching colour schemes uh, almost at the click of a button. We're going to see a few examples of its use. I have this presentation in front of me at the moment, North Shore Travel, and I'm going to move into its slide master view uh, where we're going to make some changes presentation wide. And the first thing I'm looking to do is to use this blue colour from my NST logo for this title text which is currently black. So, nice and quick and easy, I will select the placeholder first of all for that text. I'll move to the Home tab, looking for the Font Color button, and I'm going to go for this Eyedropper tool. Now, when I click the Eyedropper, I'll get this little Eyedropper as my mouse cursor. I can simply hover over the color that I wish to use. As I hover over, I can see the RGB values come up, uh, and, the, and a name as well for blue-gray, little preview. And all I have to do is simply click it, and as easy as that, I now have a matching colour from that image on that text. Now, that's fantastic. But the eyedropper tool is not just limited to objects within your slide. What I could also do is select this placeholder, come up to my eyedropper tool, and select it again. And I could click and drag from my slide into areas outside of my slide. For example, at the bottom of my screen, I can see I've got my Google Chrome logo and my Windows Start button logo. So from this empty bit here, I can click and drag down. And as I'm dragging, I can hover over maybe the red portion of the Google Chrome and release. And it will use that exact red use from that logo. Another great example of this in action, because we can use this with anything external, whether this may be uh, another application or probably more likely a website. So I'm just going to restore this PowerPoint window where I have uh, the Costa Coffee website sit behind it and I'm decide oh, I really want that that kind of dark red color that Costa use. Once again I have my my placeholder selected on this left hand side into my font color which is a bit squished up now onto the eyedropper. And I can click and drag from my slide across into the other one hovering over what I want, I might decide to have this background, actually that's very nice. I'm going to hover over this Costa logo and across it goes. Back to the eyedropper. Actually just cancel that, I might select this text below. Back to the eyedropper. Eyedropper it is, and maybe I'll use this other pinkish colour for the sub. Okay, I might want to set the background colour that to make that clearer. But we can see what we're doing. I can even use this eyedropper for the, uh, the colours of buttons up here, like this open button I've got on my quick access toolbar. Just about to see that coming through. Let's maximise that window. So that is the eyedropper tool in PowerPoint 2013. Uh, matching colours for cohesive presentations. Absolutely fantastic. A brilliant addition to the kind of PowerPoint suite of features. Thank you for watching. Hope you find this useful. Please check out some of our other tutorials at computergargart.com